SI distraction. With the patient side lying, the examiner is behind the patient with both hands over the lateral aspect of the pelvis. The examiner then applies pressure through the anterior part of the ilium, thus spreading the SI joints. This test can also be done while the patient is supine. SI compression. The examiner at the side of the patient and the patient lying supine, the examiner places the left hand over the patient's left ASIS and the right hand over the patient's right ASIS, applying pressure to each, thus compressing the SI joints. A positive test for both the distraction and compression tests is pain arising from the SI joints, thus indicating an SI joint pathology. Thank you.